breaking news, everyday news on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Today is the 28th of September 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. And guys, so guys, uh, the Zimbabwe Republic Police therapy has confirmed the arrest of robbers who killed a Marondela businessman, adding that the arrest helped uh, solve so more cases are linked to the suspects. In a statement uh, which was issued by Zetara P, uh, it's written here, uh, arrest of murder and armed robbery suspects in connection with the death of Paul Chumoka and the commission of several other cases in Harare and Marondela. The Zimbabwe Republic Police confirms the arrest of uh, Joseph Fat Muchenje, 58, Bright Magodi, 22, Crispin uh, Kadu, 26, Felix Dabi, 50, and Atenda Muzingairi, 27, in connection with the Kerala's murder and armed robbery cases, where Paul Chumoka, 62, died in Marondera on 23rd uh, September uh, 2022 at 0200 hours. On 26 September uh, 2022, detectives erected to a tip of an arrest Joseph Muchenje, 58, at his place of residence in Marlborough, Harare, a white Nissan AD vehicle registration number, a FY0342 used as a getaway car by the suspects and two cutting discs were recovered. The suspect's residence, upon being interviewed by the police, the suspect implicated his four accomplices leading to their subsequent arrest in Harare at different intervals and the recovery of 4.9 mm rounds of ammunition staged in Crispin Kando's wardrobe in Utafara Harare. The police also established that the suspects were getting information from a bakery employee on their targets in Marondera. The suspects are linked to six cases of armed robbery and case of murder, which include the robbery Rakozi Secondary School on 15 September 2022, where they stole some laptops, foodstuffs, key, uh, safe keys, 120 US dollar, and 2000 Zimbabwe dollar. On 18 September 2022, the suspects attacked the complaints in Mount Pleasant at 0300 hours and took 55,000 US dollar cash, several cell phones, clothes and a South African registered Toyota Fortuna registration number KH15HJP. The Toyota Fortuna was later found dumped at the intersection of Arare Drive in Mazoe Road. Investigations have also revealed that the suspects also attacked a family in Macheke on 10th of June uh, 2022 where they broke into a homestead and stole a star pistol, six live rounds, Mosobeg caliber 12 ball shotgun with nine rounds, electrical cables, two Sony plasma television sets, two DVD players, and various groceries all valued at 3,595 US dollar. Still in June uh, 2022, the suspects attacked a family in St. Mary's in Chitungiza and stole 1,775 uh, US dollar and 1,000 rand HP laptop, several cell phones again on 26 July 2022. The suspects attacked a family in St. Mary's on the pretext that there were police officers searching for dangerous drugs. They took 4,500 US dollar, 500 Zimbabwe dollar, and several cell phones. Police investigations have also unearthed that one of the suspects, Felix Dapi, is a warrant of arrest for absconding court after being arrested for unlawful possession of dangerous drugs and armed robbery cases in 2021. He's also under the microscope for, for a fraudulent bail application at the High Court through a public prosecutor who is also under investigations. The police is also looking for an accomplice of the suspects who is currently on the run. Meanwhile, on 26 uh, September, detectives in Filabusi acted on received information and arrested Panganai Mudoafa, 44, Honest Mufunya, 32, Prince Denis Madono, 32, and Kenneth Muzerengi, 42, for conspiracy to commit robbery. The suspects all from Marare and Murewa were targeting local business people and miners in Filabusi, Matibulen South and Inyati. Matibulen North, the suspects were getting information on their targets from Alan Unduza, who works for one of their targets as a driver. They have got pending robbery cases in Harare, Nyabira and Marondira. Police recovered a pellet pistol with 38 rounds from the suspects and a Nissan Vanet registration number, AFZ1674, used as a getaway car. The Zimbabwe Public Police applies the public for supplying critical information on armed robbery cases in the country and we ensure that the law takes its course without fear or favor. Assistant Commissioner 
Ponyati. So guys, that's the latest here. And guys, some of these guys are actually, you know, Bajot Babas are like for real. If you look on how many uh, robbery cases they've committed for the last uh, two months, three, four, five, you know, so which means that no one will and I'm glad that the police have managed uh, to track down these suspects and uh, the public is playing a, a pivotal role in this whole situation because Duaru provide information to the police, which is a good thing. I mean, we can't keep these people in our communities. Kanawachi, Pinda, Mzimba, Zedova, Chitora, Mari, because of 7,000 uh, US dollar. I mean, Upenyo Moon, Oguta, Utengwe, Munatofa, Watora Moon, because of money, because of the cell phone, because of, uh, I don't know, Swanango, Wachila, Utraga, groceries, like for you. You can't be killing someone else because of those things. So uh, th these guys, they deserve. Uh, to rot H group be maximum prison forever. I mean our tomb body gonna be anything like that. They need to be in Chukurubi. And uh, these guys are heartless because uh, if you look on those cases that uh, um, the police have talked about, you know, just imagine at uh, 3 a.m. Um, in the morning, and you know they'll be holding you hostage. I mean, this is so bad, man. This is really, really bad. And it's like a movie. And these guys, one of I found them once without city. And so I'm glad that uh, the uh, public, the communities are coming together and uh, actually rooting out uh, these few people who are causing problems. And so we'll be back here with more information and I hope that uh, they won't get any bail. And I hope with my prosecutor, and I think to put up or anything like that. This guy deserves to rot H Kurubi maximum prison period. And so we'll be back here with more information. This is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. We'll be back with more info here. Bless up.